Good luck, everyone. This is a first name letter box break. We're going to see who gets which first name letter right now randomly in our break. So we have our list here. We're going to be or doing a little bit of randoming to see who gets what out of the break. Seven times through. Hope you hit something nice in the Star Wars graded figure. All right, here we go. So here's a lucky number seven in our first random is finished. Good luck, everybody, in this box break. It is one hit coming out of here, and it is uh, it's risky business. Not for the faint of heart, matey. But we're going to find some treasure, mate. And uh, there's all kinds of treasure around here to find, no doubt about it. We even have the gold coins coming out. We're really excited about those coins. Shipwreck edition. Treasure. And, but right now it's all about this Star Wars graded action figure. First name letter box break. Seven times through. Hope. And we'll see who gets which letter as we stack each randomized list up side by side. Lucky number seven. And yeah, this second random is done. And so now we, now you can see your first name letter in the break as things come together here. All right, the graded Star Wars action figure is. What is it? Who is it? What's it going to be? Oh my. Is it going to be a Yoda? Is it going to be a Chewbacca? It is a 1977 R5-D4. Oh, R5-D4 for the letter R odor. Congratulations. Nice hit in the brain. This has got a, uh, some very interesting things about it. Uh, right here you can see that it is a 75 grade. And I'm not sure what the HK means, but these different things on this grade, on this thing right here, HK can mean all kinds of stuff. So look into this further and you'll find more interesting facts. It could mean that the colors are different. It could be a variation HK or there's all kinds of different things that, that make these stand out as being more rare than the next. I know some of them, uh, will come with different colored uh, weapons. You know, there's all kinds of things in these action figures that make these more rare. And uh, that might be what HK references. A lot of times um, you'll find different things uh, abbreviated on the 
the uh, the grading there that represents you know some of the the rarity, some degrees of rarity, but a really cool piece. Uh, graded nicely here. Letter R. Odom. Congratulations. That is Tristan B. Ho. Okay, so so uh, Roger says, you know, it's probably Hong Kong. And maybe the Hong Kong ones are more rare than some of the other ones. So that's just some of the different things, you know, could be could be where it was manufactured. It could, you know, they sometimes you'll see blue or a color. Uh, right there on the grading or something like that. But that is really cool. Congratulations. Hope. Nice. See, I had no idea. Brian T says some are manufactured in Taiwan. Some are, you know, so the Hong Kong is definitely notable about that particular one. And so a uh, big hit right there for Tristan. Way to go.